Welcome to Easy Driver, the most reliable source of automotive information on YouTube. Please subscribe, like and share. Thanks. How to replace an evaporative emission control canister. Ever wonder why your check engine light is on, but you just filled up your gas tank? It might be your evaporative emission control canister, often called the evap canister. This critical component traps harmful fuel vapors, preventing them from escaping into the atmosphere. Over time, the canister can wear out or get clogged, causing issues like poor fuel economy and increased emissions. Replacing a faulty EVAP canister isn't just about turning off that pesky warning light. It's crucial for keeping your vehicle running smoothly and reducing your environmental footprint. In this guide, we'll break down everything you need to know about replacing your EVAP canister, step by step, to help you get your car back in top shape. Let's get to work. What is an evaporative emission control canister? An evaporative emission control canister, commonly known as the EVAP canister, plays a significant role in your car's emission system. It captures and stores fuel vapors from the gas tank, preventing these hazardous fumes from escaping into the atmosphere. This section will explain its function, importance, and the main components of the EVAP system. Function and Importance The primary job of an EVAP canister is to catch and hold fuel vapors. When your car's engine is off, Gasoline vapors build up in the fuel tank. These vapors are harmful to the environment and can contribute to air pollution. The EVAP canister captures these vapors and stores them until the engine is running and they can be safely burned off. Why is this crucial? Imagine if all those vapors were allowed to escape into the air. It would not only be bad for the environment but also for your health. The EVAP system helps to reduce smog and other harmful emissions, making our air cleaner and safer to breathe. Plus, it helps your car run more efficiently by recycling fuel vapors that would otherwise be wasted. Components of the EVAP system The EVAP system consists of several key components, all working together to control emissions. EVAP canister This is the heart of the system. Filled with activated charcoal, it captures and stores fuel vapors from the gas tank. Purge valve This valve controls when and how much vapor is sent from the canister to the engine. When the engine is running, the purge valve opens, allowing the stored vapors to be burned as fuel. Vent valve. This valve allows fresh air to enter the canister and helps push the captured vapors into the engine. It usually stays open except when the system is testing for leaks. Sensors. Various sensors monitor the EVAP system for leaks and proper operation. If a problem is detected, these sensors trigger the check engine light on your dashboard. The EVAP system might seem complicated, but each part plays a specific role in reducing emissions and keeping your car running smoothly. Understanding these components can help you appreciate why regular maintenance and timely replacements are so important. Signs your EVAP canister needs replacement. A faulty EVAP canister can cause various issues that affect your car's performance and safety. Understanding these signs can help you diagnose the problem early and take necessary action. Check engine light. One of the most common indicators that your EVAP canister is failing is the check engine light turning on. This light is a general warning that something is wrong with your vehicle's emissions system. When the EVAP canister isn't working properly, it can cause a leak in the system. This triggers sensors to light up your dashboard. It's crucial to get this diagnosed by a professional as soon as possible. Ignoring the check engine light can lead to more serious problems down the road. A mechanic can use a diagnostic tool to read the error codes and determine if the issue is with your EVAP canister or another part of the emissions system. Fuel odor. Another sign of a bad EVAP canister is a strong fuel odor around your vehicle. The canister is designed to trap fuel vapors and prevent them from escaping. When it fails, these vapors can leak out, causing a noticeable smell. This isn't just unpleasant, it's also a safety hazard. Fuel vapors are highly flammable and inhaling them can be dangerous to your health. If you start to notice a persistent fuel smell, especially when your car is parked, it's time to have your EVAP system checked. This odor is a clear signal that something is wrong and shouldn't be ignored. Poor engine performance. Issues with the EVAP system can also lead to poor engine performance. When the canister fails, it can create a vacuum leak in the system. This affects how your car's engine runs, often leading to problems like rough idling, stalling, or difficulty starting the vehicle. Your car might also experience reduced fuel efficiency, causing you to spend more on gas. Don't let these engine issues go unchecked. 
Poor performance not only reduces your car's efficiency but can also cause additional wear and tear on other engine components. Addressing the problem early will save you money and stress in the long run. Recognizing these symptoms can help you take action before a minor issue turns into a major repair. Keep an eye on your vehicle's performance and ensure you address any warning signs promptly. Thanks for watching part 1 of our tutorial on replacing an evaporative emission control canister. Stay tuned for part 2, where we'll cover the installation process in detail. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more automotive information like this. Thank you for watching.